<coughs> okay, so in this demonstration, I'm just going to demonstrate how to use an FTP server and FTP client. We're going to be using the Linux terminal as the client to connect to my Android and back up my Python scripts. So first thing we do, we start the server on the remote um, machine. In this case, it's the Android. Uh, this is just a demonstration box. Go ahead and navigate to the directory that you want to upload and download files to and from on the remote or the local server. And as you can see on this one, we're on a folder on my desktop top called Pi. I'm going to back up my Python scripts. We're going to upload them to the uh, Android. We do FTP-I. I, what that does is when you try to upload or download a file, it's not going to ask you yes or no. It's just going to do it. And when you're doing every file in a directory, you want that. So enter the IP address and then the port number. That's going to ask us for a login name. And the password. Now, if you're not using text files, if it's not, you know, if it's like an executable or anything, generally you're going to want to use binary. So switch to binary mode by typing binary in. Make sure you have a firewall rule added, or you can just temporarily disable it. Otherwise, when you go to ask for the file directory listings, it's going to give you a hard time. And it takes it a while on here when you click. There we go. Now, we can do either DIR from the Windows command terminal or LS, which is the Linux version of the DIR listing, and there's our files. Now, if we want to upload all of our files from our local directory to the remote server, we do input, which stands for multiple uploads, star dit, whatever extension we want, we could put pi, or we could put star to star because they're all pi, and that will there it goes. It's uploading all the files from the local directory to the remote FTP server. You can get FTP servers at the Google Play Store on your Android, or you can make one in Python. You can make it hidden. You can make it terminal-based. You can make it graphical user interface style. You can do this for any machine, and I'll do more tutorials on how to make those, too. You can type in the word help in the FTP terminal, and it'll pull up a list of commands. They're generally the same as the you know, the Linux terminal. You got uh, mdir to make a directory, mdelete to delete a directory. You got um, append cd, chmod to modify permissions, file permissions. Delete, delete files. Uh, get and put will get one file. That'll download one single file that you want. Put will upload one file that you want. And then the difference is mgit will download all the files. And input will upload all the files. Then you got ls to list the directories. Make dir to create a directory on the remote machine. Um, while you're in here, you can just type in FTP in the terminal and it'll open, and then you can type in open the IP address and connect that way. <coughs> PWD just tells you which directory you're in, but of course the remote server is already closed. So, and that's pretty much it. Um, I will put a. Some more tutorials on here how to actually program a Python FTP server. And you can do this on the an Android or any machine. And you can make it terminal based, GUI style, or hidden. So, pretty cool. And that's it for this demonstration. Please comment below, subscribe, let me know if you have any questions. Um, and look forward to the links at the end of this video where I show off more demonstrations. And the Linux terminal, use it terminal, uh, Windows command prompt, and uh, Python and other scripting programming languages. So thanks a lot, guys.